worth math. <laughs> every object, or almost every object, has a mass, and its mass. Now I don't know what mass is. I don't know what mass is any more than anyone else knows what mass is. Okay, so um, mass is the uh, measure of a body's resistance due to a, just due to a force. Okay, so it's um, Newton's laws. You got mass times acceleration is force, and uh, the amount of acceleration depends on the body's mass as well as on force. Okay, so it's the amount of stuff. Okay, so what is mass? Mass is an intrinsic property of of an object and the mass of an object in general isn't the thing that changes if the object for example changes location so although the weight of an object might change if the object changes location its mass won't we've come outside to do this demonstration with a two litre bottle when it's full of water its mass will be approximately two kilos there's a series of holes down the side to show some interesting effects. Okay, so we know from Newton 3 that force equals mass times acceleration, which is a brilliant equation. We know what acceleration is because we can measure time and distance and we can uh, prescribe the acceleration of a particle. And fortunately, we don't really know what we mean by force or mass. So we end up with a, a brilliant equation that relates two unknown quantities uh, in terms of something we do know. So what can we do? Well let's go to uh, Newton 3. I suppose that's Newton 2. Let's go to Newton 3 which tells us that every uh, action has an equal and opposite reaction. So the only thing we really know is Newton's third law, which tells us that each action has an equal and opposite reaction. So we have uh, two objects, object one and object two, and this has an acceleration A1 and this has an acceleration A2. And this tells us um, that F equals M1 A1. And, uh, and that uh, F also equals M2A2, is it minus? So that we actually have uh, a genuine law of physics that tells us that M1A1 equals M2A2. So now we actually have an uh, explanation of mass. It's a ratio of objects um, associated with objects uh, to do with uh, how they accelerate. So if you had a sample uh, mass and it accelerates one way due to another object accelerating another ob way you can calculate what the mass of that second object is. Weight, comes, weight is a measure of the force that's applied onto the mass of an object. Well, weight is a completely different concept. Weight is what you feel when you're not in free fall. So if I'm free falling then for most of my free fall I don't feel anything at all. Unfortunately, there becomes a moment when I feel an awful lot. So, and that's commonly known as the ground. So, until that moment, I'm okay. I feel no weight. As you can see, the water is flowing quicker from the bottom holes than the top. This is due to the weight of the water above each hole. It creates a higher pressure at the bottom. So, for example, if I take this very nice tape measure and I let it go, it'll hit the floor. That's due to the force of gravity that's acting on the mass of the object. Now, what you probably can't tell is that, in fact, this very nice tape measure actually weighs a little bit less here than it weighs here because down on the floor, it's closer to the center of the Earth. And that makes the value, that makes the force of gravity a little bit more when it's closer to the center of the Earth. However, 
its mass is exactly the same as it always was. So you probably already know that the force of gravity, for example, on the moon is much smaller than the force of gravity on the Earth. That doesn't mean that if I go to the moon, I suddenly am going to have less mass. It's true that I'll weigh less, but I will still have just as much fat on the moon as I have here on the Earth. So it's not a quick diet scheme to fly to the moon. When the bottle is dropped, the water becomes weightless as it is now in free fall. So there is no pressure pushing the water up. I think the, the most interesting point though, at least for low energies and low um, accelerations and so forth, that your the mass that um, is in Newton's laws, the mass times acceleration is force, is actually numerically the same as the mass that sits in the force times the gravitational acceleration. That's true for all objects. And that's just an amazing thing. It's called the equivalence principle. So basically, all objects fall at the same rate, as long as you neglect things like air resistance and so forth.